Welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. In tonight's news, Telama recently had visits from a professional eater and a chainsaw carver. Coach John Olive spoke about the economics of high school football and how a former NFL kicker is helping out this year. We'll have these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. You made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again, just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Hello everyone, Governor Bill Lee. The 2020 census is underway and more than 60% of Tennesseans have already been counted. I want to encourage every household that hasn't yet responded to the census to do so now. An accurate census will bring more of our federal tax dollars back to Tennessee communities to support services that we all like, like health care, education, roads, and so much more. Log on to 2020census.gov to answer some simple questions about the people living in your home. You can also respond by phone or mail in your questionnaire. It should only take a few minutes and can mean so much for your family and your community. Help shape the future of Tennessee by responding to the 2020 census today. Welcome back. World-renowned professional eater Randy Sanchez was at Daddy Billy's last week to attempt to be the first person to eat the Big Daddy Burger, which weighs over five and a half pounds. Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel. Atlas and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall win number 862. There are lots of people here, which is much better. <laughs> Tennessee, which is pretty much halfway between Nashville and Chattanooga, I am at Daddy Billy's. I'm hoping to become the first person to win their undefeated Big Daddy Challenge. Now, it's basically a giant pizza burger topped with four street chicken tacos, but I've got 30 minutes to finish everything here. There are three eight-inch pepperoni pizzas made by Spinelli's Pizzeria under the same ownership, which is next door. So in between that, we've got four total half-pound burger patties. They cook to medium rare, just like I asked. We've got their Billy fries. We've got onion straws. I've got my shirt on, so you know we've got some healthy vegetables here. Not only on the tacos, but there are red onions. We've got healthy tomatoes. We've got pickles. We've got lettuce. Along with that, we've got a couple fried chicken tenders. We've got these tacos here, and I think that about covers it, but we've got 30 minutes to finish. If I fail, it's gonna be $45. But if I win, I'll get my meal free, I'll get a sweet t-shirt, and I'll be the very first person up on the Wall of Fame. Let's get this challenge started. One, two, three. Chicken tenders, it has it all, but let's finish pizza number one from Spinelli's Pizzeria. Seven, almost eight minutes. 
So it's a 30 minute challenge. He still has 22 minutes left to go. I'm trying to do it in 15. And then I have all these healthy vegetables to combat all that pepperoni on the pizza. But we are right at nine minutes, 10 minutes now. So Can nine minutes to go. 20 minutes to go, and I guarantee you he'll he'll beat the challenge. I just wonder if he'll beat the 15. Okay, come on, baby. There's another hamburger patty going down. 13 minutes and 30 seconds in. Go, Randy! Go, Randy! Go, Randy! I'm getting old. There's no other way to it. Well, we know that. Come on. It's not an excuse. It's always an excuse. Come on, Randy. Come on, Randy. You can do it. Almost there. Good, Randy. Got it. Got, Got it. it. Yeah. Taking that last bite. I'm gonna eat my life before you eat. Getting all the crumbs. <laughs> yeah. Down to his last bite. Last five of the base camps. Yeah. Come on! We'll be right back after these messages. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove Remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Many Tennesseans are wondering, do masks really fight the spread of COVID-19? A recent study shows they do. Two hairstylists work for several days with respiratory symptoms and serviced patrons in close contact. Both stylists later tested positive for COVID-19. 139 clients were exposed to coronavirus after being in direct contact. Both stylists and their customers opted to wear masks. No COVID-19 symptoms were identified among the 139 exposed clients or their secondary contacts. Out of the clients that were tested, all tested negative for COVID-19. Face it, masks fight COVID-19. Welcome back. Fayetteville Carver Roy Phillips has been in front of South Jackson Civic Center for the past week, chainsaw carving on a tree that was damaged last year. News leader's John Gray brings us this story. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is a tree out in front of South Jackson Civic Center that was topped a couple of years ago and left because uh, some saw that there was a way to turn this into a piece of art. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm with Rourke Phillips, and he's from Lincoln County, and he's he's boots, chaps, and chainsaws right <laughs> here, and he's the gentleman who's going to do the work on this tree. On this tree, Rourke, uh, what what's your what's your idea on, on what's going to happen with this tree here? Well. It's going to take a lot of wood off of it. The very top part is going to be a conductor. It's performance arts theme. So anything to do with performance arts, musical instruments, the, mu the music staff, chord, musical signs, uh, a dancer, a female dancer. They they're are as about as hard to carve as their mind is to understand at times. <laughs> We're going to get there. So. I guarantee it. <laughs> How long have you been doing this kind of work, my friend? Full time, four years. and. 14 total. 14 total. How many different types of saws are you going to think you'll probably end up using on this on this well, project? Well, I'm on number four today and just barely got a good start, but uh, 
Yeah, I have several. I have a whole arsenal, but uh, I grabbed the sharp one. That's one I'm looking for. <laughs> That's a good thing to do. Hey, the tree looks like it's in pretty good shape. I know uh, they topped it and got it, got it. It was broken down and got it out of here about three years, two, three years ago. And it looks like the, what, what was left is still in good shape as far as being solid. It is in excellent shape. Excellent. A little bit of steel. I, I can't carve steel too well, but uh, yeah, that's in great shape. It's, uh, I kind of roughly counted the rings of it, hit 150. Now you could probably go back and find a few more or a few less, but it's uh, it's an old tree. Big oh yeah, tree, massive big, tree. Big tree, and how long do you think it'll take you to, to fulfill your dream for this piece oh, of wood? Oh wow, well they're never done, you have to abandon it. <laughs> so I, I'm You're a gonna, true artist then. I'm gonna push it to where I am happy, and hopefully uh, the city will be too. All right, sir, well we'll be back to see you as you go along with your project. Good luck, and, and thank you for adding this wonderful piece of art to our city Tullahoma here Absolutely. and the South Jackson Civic Center. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yes sir, appreciate you. Alright, there he is up in the air right now, working on the top. And he told me it's going to be a conductor. His hands up in the air conducting music right up there on the top. And as you get close, uh, you can see his legs marked out on the stump. So that's Rourke Phillips from South Jackson Civic Center. Stop on by. He's going to be working on this for several days until he brings it to fruition and a great, great addition to the art side of Telehome. This will be something that will be out in front of the Civic Center, we hope, for a long time. loose right there. There she goes. All right. Rourke Phillips. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back down at South Jackson checking on the progress of Rourke Phillips and uh, making this uh, tree trunk into a beautiful piece of art. Alright, this is Rourke Phillips here and he's working on this, still working on this tree, South Jackson. He's putting the comedy and tragedy on, uh, on the back side of this and uh, working it in there with a chainsaw. You can imagine. Look at that, isn't that great? Isn't that great? And then he's got a snare drum up top at the got to stand on and on top of that a music book. So uh, this thing is taking on a great, great performance. And that right there is a pair of ballet shoes hanging off of it. And here is the comedy face right here. Tragedies on the other side. Being free-handed by Rourke Phillips in Fayetteville, Tennessee. More news is coming up in just a moment. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. During the first John Olive's fifth quarter show of the season, Coach Olive spoke about how football helps support other sports in the high school. Football is not just important for football fans. Football is the money generator for most of the sports that we have in Tullahoma. 
Ed, uh, in, in the it school is. system. It, it and basketball are the two gener right, money generating right. sports that. Uh, that let and, the other things happen. Right. And the soccer and the know, golf and the this and the tennis and And right now we're not on generate. We're I mean, you know, we're but we're, we're generating uh, we're playing. about a third of what we normally would be generating in a ball game like we just played. I probably we probably made about half of what we normally would right. have made. Uh, well, booster clubs Shelby, though. Got both the band boosters and the quarterback club were able to uh, have concessions, which that generates monies for right. both those individual programs there, uh, football and band. Um, but the monies that for the people who come to the ball games, uh, you know, that money goes throughout uh, the athletics. Uh, because once football pays for itself, then we take the rest of those monies. And there are certain sports, I'll use the example golf. Our golf teams are playing really well. Our girls are playing very, very well. Okay. Uh, they, have, they can't generate monies. No. Uh, except their boosters. And their right. boosters do a good job of generating monies right. to help their program and so forth. Uh, but the part that they get from the athletic department, they have no way of generating that money. Right. And um, and so that money's come from the sports that can generate money. And I'm sure tennis and volleyball. That's correct. And those well, other, there's there's, a, there's others them. that uh, that we have that you just they 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 cross country. That's going on right now. Volleyball. We sell tickets for volleyball. Okay. Uh, they've got a chance to generate money and so forth. But a sport like tennis, cross country, golf, bowling. They don't have those opportunities, right, right. And, but we think those are important programs to be offering to our uh, students and, and that we have student athletes that excel in those sports and that we want to keep those sports going. Coach Olive also spoke about the Wildcats kicker and the extra help he's getting from a retired NFL kicker who lives in the area. Justice, I'm just telling you this. Um, He's got a kicking coach that does kickers here in the right. mid-state area. Uh, he's got Michael Holliday that works with him on our staff every day. And then Michael Holliday becomes really great friends with a former NFL kicker who happens to have a house out on Tim's Ford Lake <laughs> and brings his son to our field to kick in the summertime. And Michael made... Um, uh, contact and friendship with them and so forth and uh, so what he does now is when justice is struggling on something he'll videotape it he'll send it to the former NFL kicker and the NFL kicker say hey do this right here justice works at his craft extremely hard and Which I, I mean. am so proud of what he has he's always had a live leg but he's learned how to kick a football and uh, I hope that he'll stay healthy and that we'll... He's not that big a kid. Uh, he's gotten a lot bigger. He's gained about 18 pounds since last year. So uh, he's, uh, you know, 6'1", six 6'1", six six and about 170, 75 pounds now. Last year he was about 150. Like I said, he's not that big a kid. <laughs> uh, his goal is, is to go kick at the next level. And uh, uh, his kicking coach, who kicked for the University of Tennessee uh, several years ago, has told him you got to weigh at least 185 pounds. He's on his way to making it to 185 I guarantee pounds. he will. That's all he has to do. You know, but he's sitting there, and I'm, I, we're watching this and watching these him hammer the ball on the kickoff, and I said, I said to Max, is sitting next to me, my friend Max Carroll, I said, I wonder if he can kick a field goal. <laughs> well, then it's not too long after that. I see he's out there. Somebody's – Putting the ball down and he's hammering them through from like 35, 40 yards. I'm going, yeah, he can kick a field goal too. So we'll be right back after these messages. Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. 
Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. He's a little bit of you, he's a little bit of me. He's a fresh along the roads out of Tennessee. He's the garbage that we find. He's the dream we left behind. Lord, there ain't no lower class than Tennessee trash. A throwaway bottle of pop top can may not seem much to a traveling man, but a little bit of litter goes a long, long way. We have met the enemy, and he is us. Welcome back in this week's Tullahoma Chamber edition of What Do You Say Wednesday? Faith Feud, Chamber Marketing and Communications Coordinator, speaks with Chamber Membership Director Tisha Fitz about how she takes care of their 426 members. Um, we have actually been a Chamber of Commerce for 100 years, so we have an incredible um, legacy um, of those who have joined us throughout the years, um, but a freshness and excitement um, you know, for the future here. So, absolutely. So, um, Tisha, we know that 2020 has been such a crazy year. That's for sure. Um, you know, everybody's had to adapt and overcome and um, figure things out in a totally new, different way. So, how do you think that um, coronavirus um, or has it affected chamber membership? Well. Actually, we are happy to report here at the Chamber that um, even through times of quarantine and our office doors being closed and you know not being able to meet for our usual events, um, we have adapted so quickly um, and really become a Chamber that uh, where we're used to coming together and meeting in person. We've taken all those meetings and all those opportunities to connect and, and develop uh, professionally. We've taken them to the digital platform. So, you know, we're using Zoom. We're using Facebook Live like we're joining you today. Um, we have an incredible product that we send out in the digital, um, digital e-newsletter every Monday and every Friday um, that doesn't just tell you about the things that we're doing at the Chamber. It's an opportunity for our members to talk to the community. We have um, a group of people that follow us every single day, whether that be, um, you know, our members that have supported us, um, you know, forever. But when you introduce on that, you know, that digital world out there, you just never know who you're connecting with and growing with. So, um, yeah, I'd have to say quarantine did not slow the chamber down one bit. That's awesome. And we, you said we had exactly four? 426. 426. Yes. That's incredible. It is. Um, so, can you share a few of the benefits about a chamber membership? Absolutely. So, um, all of our benefits serve two purposes. You're either going to have an opportunity to network and connect or you're going to have an opportunity to develop um, or grow as a leader. So some of these incredible benefits we have, I'll say my two favorite, Chamber Connect. Every Friday at 9 a.m. you have a chance to join us in the boardroom. Um, we're meeting safely, so right now only five people per session. Um, but what we do in these sessions is take our time with each member to say, hey, here are the benefits that we provide, here are the opportunities that you can utilize to market your business, um, you know, through the programs and processes that we have, um, and you walk away um, being able to um, understand the benefits and, and really grow. And I have to say, my second favorite, which I'm excited to report, um, ribbon cuttings, and we are now holding in-person ribbon cuttings. Um, we're going to, you know, wear a mask and we're going to be socially distant, we're going to be safe um, so that our businesses um, and our people are, are you know stay well but we are going to cut those ribbons again through all of this uh, it's exciting to see that businesses have continued to open they've continued you know people in our community have taken that leap of faith um, and they're ready to invite the people to say, hey, this is what we've been working on um, now that we can um, begin meeting safely again as with our precautions. Um, you know, we're here and we're ready to, to cut those ribbons and welcome the people back. 
Um, so be looking out for those. And if you've got one that you'd like to schedule with us, uh, give us a call. We'd love to get that started for you. Absolutely. Um, so in your opinion, um, why should a business become a member of the chamber? My favorite question and my answer is why shouldn't you be a member of the Chamber of Commerce with all the things that we have continued to grow and develop um, with the history of taking care of people and, and growing leaders in our community um, and now with this new energy for the future um, in the digital landscape um, and also We've had so much time to reflect and, um, and we miss you. <laughs> so I guess um, the most exciting thing about being a member is just a sense of community and a sense of pride. Uh, we have it, we wanna share it with you um, and we wanna create um, a beautiful community um, so that Tullahoma continues to be the wonderful place it is to live, work and play. Absolutely. And I think I remember um, while our office was closed, we actually had an email come in about joining the chamber and they said, I couldn't imagine not being a part of the chamber yes. during this time, and so that that really um, made us super grateful um, for our members, and just um, you know, really put the faith in us that you know we are dedicated to you guys, and we do our best to to um, stick to our mission, which is promote the economic growth of the community and um, just uh, be interactive with with the business community as well. So, um, you know, if you guys have any questions about becoming a member, you can call us on the phone. Um, you can uh, message us on here, that works as well. Um, you can stop in, we would love to see your face. Yes. Um, you can also, we have our website listed under the About Me um, section on our Facebook. So you can go to that website, www.telehoma.org. And we have a whole page dedicated to um, becoming a member. So it's just a simple three little steps. And, um, you know, you, you guys can call us if you have any questions about it. But like I said, it's super straightforward. Stay with us. Your weather forecast is coming up next. Ah, the glory days. Running to daylight on the gridiron. And chasing a ball with a mind of its own. Cheering the team to victory. And marching to the beat of your own drum. Memories that last a lifetime. But sometimes we're reminded of our glory days in ways we'd rather forget. Get back in the game. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live and play well. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor, Stat. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1943 at 104 degrees. The record low was in 1945 at 50 degrees. Average high on this day is 87 and the average low is 65. Overcast weather expected tonight with a low of 74. Storms in the forecast for Friday with a high of 81 and a low of 71 and scattered storms still expected on Saturday with a high of 86 and a low of 68. And that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 6, 8 and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening.